All right, you guys, so do check out how to emboss or how to deboss text here in Blender. And this was inspired from Nazari D. And we're going to try that out. So first, we're going to start in Photoshop and I'm going to paint the background black. By the way, this is my artboard size. And here, select the type tool and type in something. And I'm going to go with this text as a reference. And normally, you should have like more space in between the letters for the specific effect. But I'm just going to go with like this. From here, let's go to the text layer, double click on it. And here I'm going to activate the drop shadow and let's go and change up the color to white. Click OK. Let's go to the blend mode, change it to normal. Opacity is going to be 55. Distance and spread should be 0, 0. And I'm going to increase the size to 30. Now I'm going to go and duplicate the drop shadow. I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to select the bottom drop shadow. And I'm going to go to the opacity. I'm going to increase it to 65. Size also going to be like 65. And let's go ahead and add and duplicate the drop shadow one more time. Scroll down, select the bottom one. And here I'm going to decrease this to 20, the opacity actually. And the size is going to be like 85. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Click OK and save it as a JPEG. Now let's go and open up Blender, press Shift plus A, go to Mesh, select the plane. And I'm also going to go and resize this. Let's go here to the object. And I'm going to go to the scale X. I'm going to make this 1920 by 1080. So it's going to have the 1080p size. Let's go and switch the viewport shading. And now let's go to the modifier and search for multi resolution. Enter. And here I'm going to uncheck the optimal display and click on the linear. And I'm going to click again to increase the quads. And I'm going to increase it all the way to 8. So it's going to make it nice and dense. Now let's go back to the modifier, search for displace, select the displace. And I'm also going to switch up the viewport shading. And let's go to the texture. And here I'm going to click on the new, click on open. And I'm going to go and select the text that I made in Photoshop. This one right here, click on open. And there you go, we got it automatically here. I'm also going to right click on it, select shade smooth. And now we're going to go back to the modifier. And I'm going to go first to the mid-level and I'm going to decrease the mid-level. So it's going to start from ground zero. And let's go to the strength and here you can increase or decrease. If you decrease, it is going to emboss. And then if you increase to the plus, it is going to deboss. I'm going to try it out with 05. Let's go back to the modifier, go to add modifier, search for smooth corrective, select the smooth corrective, enter, scroll down and make sure to check only smooth. So this is gonna smoothen it out and we're gonna go here to the factor, you can decrease it. So if you decrease it to zero, it's gonna go back to default. If you increase it, it's going to smoothen it. I gotta go with zero two-ish. And then you also got the repeat. With this one, you also can make it like even more melty looking, which is gonna make it look really cool by the way. Now if I decrease the repeat, it is gonna make it more sharper, but also it's gonna make it more jagged. So for that, I also can go to add another modifier. I'm going to search for subdivision modifier. So this is going to smoothen it out even more. I'm going to scroll down. If you increase it to two, it won't do much. So I'm going to decrease the render to one as well. Now, the other thing you can do is go here to the multiers and add another linear. And this is going to bump up the resolution, but it might slow down your computer quite a bit. And check this out. This is the bottom and this is the top. I'm going to go down to the repeat and I'm going to make it smooth. I'm also going to press Shift plus A. I'm going to select the camera. Let's go and bring it up. I'm going to reset the camera to default. Press Alt plus R. Let's go and activate the camera. Go to Object. And here I'm going to zoom out with the Z. I'm also going to activate the render. Let's go to the render settings. Change the EV to cycles. CPU to GPU. Decrease the max sampling to 50. A render sample, I'm gonna go with like 100. And I'm gonna go here. Let's switch it to shader editor, object, world. I'm gonna select the background only and press Control T. Now this is gonna work only if you have the Node Wrangler add-on activated. If you don't have it, you can go here to the edit, preferences. And let's go here to the add-ons, search for Node Wrangler and activate it. I'm going to go to the environment texture, click on open, and I'm going to select an HDRI, click on open. I'm going to decrease the strength, and here we're going to switch up the rotation at the XYZ. 
and take a look at that. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching.